Okay, so Simplify 3D recently released version 5.0. And I wanted to see if I could get a working profile for my Shindo 3D Wax 1 printer. And I was able to do that, but I had to change a bunch of the settings. So I'm going to provide that profile and show you how I did it here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come in to Simplify 3D, go to File, Import Printer Profiles, and import my V5 3D Wax 1 Bobot profile. Now let's look at some of these settings. I just have some small samples here. The provided profile from Shindo themselves, the original, didn't work for me, not at all. So let's just look at a couple of the things I've done here in this profile. First of all, it's PLA only. I haven't done the ABS or PETG or anything like that yet. The nozzle diameter, 0.4 of course. I had to up the extrusion multiplier to 1.05 and the extrusion width I put on automatic. It will work on manual. I just get a little better um, at automatic which goes to 0.48 instead of 0.4. This, I, all, I left all this stuff about normal. Uh, this you can do top and bottom layers and perimeters. You can adjust that. I did have to adjust the first layer width to 200 to get the thing to work. I mean, it wouldn't stick without that. Um, I always do a, I do a skirt and I offset it and give it enough line so that I can peel it off. You know, adjust your infill percentage here as normal supports. Uh, 200 on the extruder heated bed. I've had to put mine up to 65 to get it to measure 60 with a uh, temperature sensor. So um, your mileage may vary there. Cooling fan, in order to emulate what Shindo does, layer one, two, and three, you ramp it up zero, 50, and 100% on the fan. That matches that. Speeds, I put it 60 millimeter per second on the default print speed. This stuff will come in. So that's the parameters for your printer. This script, just leave it go. It has to be in here. The starting script and the ending will be the M2. And I use uh, single extrusions on the advanced. Uh, nothing else have I really changed. So that's that's what I had to do to get it to work. So yes, it'll now create the STL file for you to print. But, well, let's do it so that I can show you the caveat here in order to get this thing sent over to your printer. There's, there's, there's actually two of them. Okay, so let's prepare to print and zoom in a little bit. Okay, cool. So here's the thing. I've never been able to get Simplify 3D software to talk to the 3D Wax printers via USB or the network. I don't know the port for USB. The networking doesn't work. I think it's proprietary. It just doesn't work. So that means you have one option here that I've gotten to work, which is this export build file to disk, which will just dump the G code out to a file. So we can do that. That's no problem. Dump it to a file, G code, save it. I already had it, I guess. Okay. There. So here's my G code file, right? Here's the problem. You can't just put this G code file on a flash drive and carry it over to the printer and expect it to work. There's something proprietary in the Shindo printer that it looks for special stuff in the code here. And if you just take this over there the way it is and put it in the printer, it immediately says canceling job and it resets and you have to reboot the printer. Here's what I figured out so far. That's pretty simple to do requires a little effort, but it works. Open this um, G code in some type of text editor, like Notepad++ or Notepad or something like that. Okay. Scroll down to like line, I don't know, 200, 210, this big long line here. It's, it's the big long line and it starts out with a starting script. I think by them listing this, which should be a comment in here, but putting this printer model with this 3D Wax one, I think it's some kind of a flag file uh, text that gets triggered by the 3D Wax and it blows it up. So just highlight that that line and delete it. 
and resave your file. Okay. Now take this file, you can put it on a flash drive and you can put it in the printer and print it. Or since I have mine hooked up through the network, you can use your 3D Walks desktop software to send the job over without having to sneak or net it over there. You don't use load though. You go file, load G code, and go find your, your G code. The one that we just edited and took that line out of and say open. And it'll import it and it'll show you a preview of what it looks like. Now, as long as you have your, your printer set up to the right one here, you know, with the IP address and the white right model, and it shows over here on the left, then you can click print and you'll be able to print this model right over to your printer with no problem and it won't give you any errors. And of course mine's behind me now, it's gonna start ramping up because I do need to print this, this is a real job anyway. So that's where we are, that's the way I've got it to work. I haven't done ABS yet, I haven't done the DP200 printer, I haven't done the 2X yet, but this will get me by and I really do prefer um, some of the nice options that are in Simplify 3D, even version four was good. Um, I'm a little um, disappointed, I guess is the word. They say in the configuration assistant, you know, we support the 3D Wax one and the DP 200. And you set it all up and you do it, at least for me, not only, you know, did it not work because of that fix to the file I showed you where you have to take that out, but the, the, the parameters, they were like at a 0.9 extrusion multiplier and yeah, let's look at that real quick. <clears throat> Their default original file. See, they were at a 0.9, where I'm at 1.05. Um, their temperatures were messed up. Their speeds were messed up. Oh, and the biggest thing for me was this first layer width. I had to emulate Shindo and put it at 100 or 200%. Now that I look at it, they actually have their first layer height at 110%. I didn't do that. So I may go back and try that and see. Of course, this first layer speed, I think mine's down at 25%, not 50%. Because again, that's what Shindo uh, recommended. Yeah. So anyway, um, hopefully this will help some of you out. Let me know if you have any questions. And I think I will be working on the DP200 and the 2X profiles for the Simplify 3D version 5 for those printers. Um, with with PLA first, of course. Kind of interested in checking out this bed temperature here once it gets going. It says 64 Celsius, and once it moves out here, I'm gonna throw my laser thermometer on it here and see if it gets close to 60. in the center yeah so it's giving me 60 in the center when I put it on 65 so that's that but like I've said um, I've had better I get really nice um, first layer beads going around there on the Shindo software but this Simplify 3D I've got it dialed in okay on this first layer. So we'll give it a go, come back later and see what we got. Well, I think the final project looks pretty good, and it's not warping up off the bed. There's a chamfer on the edges there. So I'm really glad that I got this profile working, and I really look forward to playing with Simplify 3D more. I hope this has been informative and useful to you, and thanks so much for watching.